When Sega approached Masato Nakamura to compose the soundtrack for Sonic 2, Nakamura felt his work was worth more than what he had been paid to work on Sonic 1. According to those close to the project, way more. Nakamura became prohibitively expensive for Sega, and since he and his band owned the rights to the music from the first game, Sega had to look elsewhere for the game's music. They initially tried to make music in-house, but what they received wasn't really up to snuff. In a 2017 interview, Yasushi Yamaguchi recalled hearing that music for the first time. That reminds me, the music for Sonic 2 was completely different at first. Someone working in America, an American, came to us and asked us to use this music, but all of the tracks were awful, so together we rejected all of them. Yes, for Sonic 2. The tracks were just no good, so we called and explained how bad they were, and in the end, we were allowed to use Dreams Come True. Whatever they were given was reportedly bad enough to warrant Nakamura's price tag, so the artist was able to begin composing the new soundtrack fairly early in development, using only concept art as a frame of reference. According to Nakamura in a 2021 interview with Billboard Japan, he wanted to compose Sonic's music, quote, as if it were a movie, and capture the essence of the cinematic material he was presented with. That's how we got incredible tracks for Sonic 2, like the zone music for Chemical Plant Zone. Nakamura composed Sonic 2 jointly with Dreams Come True's 1992 album, The Swinging Star, so he decided to do something special for the developers he was working so closely with. He produced an alternate version of Sonic 2's ending theme song, Sweet Sweet Sweet, with lyrics! But what about the American, whose music was unceremoniously thrown out? Well, it turns out that American was David Javalosa, who was a composer at Sega of America at the time. Was his music really that bad? You be the judge. This is a portion of the music Javalosa created, which he himself uploaded to his YouTube channel in 2019. <laughs> has also uploaded other work he's done for Sega on the Sonic franchise, including some music for Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Check out our video on every cancelled Sonic game part 2, and Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit! Thanks for watching! This has been a GameFAQ Special.